Hey, it's your boy League Storian, and I'm going to be doing things a little bit differently. I know yesterday I had a lot of issues with this new style of video that I was doing for my dream journals, but I decided that, you know, I'm not going to give up, even though that style in particular did not work necessarily. I'm going to go ahead and use this new different style. That way it's easier for me to just, you know, get my voice on record. Uh, so I'm just going to have a, um, you know, random gameplay uh, in the background of some games I've been playing that I'm really not using the uh, footage for and should probably start using the footage for. So essentially, my dream starts off very weird. I'm in a plane going to Japan. I am super nervous and super excited at the same time. I'm nervous because I'm a plane going to Japan. I'm excited because I'm going to Japan. And in my previous research, I believe it takes like 18 to 12 hours to get to Japan in a plane. So I'm like, how long have I been in this flight? Because I wake up mid-dream and I'm already in the plane ready to go, already on my way to Japan. I'm with my family in this trip, but I only ever see myself and then these two animated Japanese girls that I have no actual interactions with, but sometimes I am their third person camera and I'm looking at their interactions with the world around them, almost like a B story. So I'm in this plane, we land, I go to this hotel, I unpack all my stuff, and I meet up with a friend of mine and my brother, and apparently we're making a movie here in Japan. We go to this park with a uh, tennis court, it's the middle of the night, the tennis court's lit up, we're in this gray truck, and at that point, the dream skips over to the other two animated Japanese girls, and for some reason, they're in, a, they're in like space for some reason, and I'm thinking this has to do with the fact that I was watching a lot of space TikTok videos right before I fell asleep, but they're in space, they can breathe in space, they're on a plane, and they're fixing something on the outside of the plane, so I'm like, okay, that's really weird, I guess they're just going around fixing planes, oh, and this dream planes go into space when going to places so I think that's why I was able to get to Japan pretty quickly and then it cuts back to me for some reason the movie me and my brother and one of my friends made is already done so I go back to my hotel and I'm watching the movie editing it out and everything and I'm like oh man this is this is weird this is like crazy how like good my editing became all of a sudden you know I was like uh, pretty like baffled at the whole situation and so uh you know i enjoy my trip in japan i don't really get to see anything but i know it's like time had passed and it's actually time for me and all my family to head back to america and so we get on this plane i remember thinking to myself man this is gonna take forever like i can't believe i even took a plane over here the first time this is like oh such a drag that i'm having having to get on this plane again halfway through the trip for some reason I am now seeing a sea story of this little boy who had to get like disinfected or whatever. So he's being washed and cleaned and scrubbed with like soap by some of the stewardess and like somewhere towards the back of the plane, right? Near the near the near the back wing or whatever, right? They have a weird dryer machine that looks like a MRI machine and it's just blowing out hot air and the little boy's getting dried, right? Well, all of a sudden it blows up and the back of the plane, the very back wing, like the very end of the, the plane with the, like the two wings sticking out, that breaks off and it's in space floating. And then it goes back to the B story where the two animated girls are in that wing, like inside that part of the plane because apparently they're fixing something, right? When that broke off and they look around, they're like, oh no, look, we're in the, we're in the like outer atmosphere and it like pans over and we're in space you can see the uh, you can see the earth. You can see the plane catching fire, kind of as it's re-entering the atmosphere. And um, they're like, "All right, well, the only thing we can do is, you know, kick off the plane and like re-enter atmosphere as well." So that's what they did. They like kick off the the debris they were on, the the plane debris they were on, and start floating towards uh, towards the earth. And they're going past all these like satellites and like people in spacesuits, which are like different colors or like uh, almost like um, the Among Us colors. Like one was like lime, one was pink, one was yellow and stuff. And they're all like different colors. And they're just watching this plane like re-enter the atmosphere, but it's like burning up on re-entry. And these anime girls are like going in there. So I'm like, wow, that's uh, really weird. That's really crazy what's going on, right? And then I wake up because uh, my alarm because uh, I had an early gym session this morning um, but I figured hey you know uh, I could probably like sleep in for like a couple more minutes so I closed my eyes for a little bit more 
but I wasn't able to actually uh, dream anything else. I immediately reopened them, and it was like nine minutes later. So I was running late, and I had to like get up and go. But um, yeah, man, that was my dream. It was kind of weird. And the things I'm thinking of is I know there was a plane crash recently, so that's probably why I was in my dream. I was watching space TikTok videos, so that's probably why I was in my dream. And everything else, I'm not entirely too sure. I know I had like a lot of editing issues yesterday. Uh, so that's probably why I was like editing a movie or whatever in my dream. Uh, but overall, it was it was a weird, random dream that usually I don't remember any of the parts of those dreams because I think I'm just like getting used to remembering my dreams more and more that I'm able to like visualize those actual scenes longer. Well, that was my dream. Thank you. And I hope you guys like this new style of videos. Uh, it seems like it's going to be the easiest for me to get done and not, you know, sacrifice like uh, any of my personal gaming time or anything like that. Uh, and honestly, I think it, it looks kind of cool uh, a little bit. But tell me what you guys think in the comments. You know, like, share, you know, support your bro. Um, and, you know, always look out because I'm on Twitch a lot streaming League of Legends or like Monster Hunter or something like that. Well, thank you for listening and have a great day.